for 30 long years, Yanni for Mark rode the same bicycle. Once, the bicycle had been beautiful. The deep, shiny blue of the sky just before nightfall, with a sunshine yellow stripe down the crossbar, and wheels that were thick and silvery like the moon. But, by the time he rode home with his new wife Gladys, the same day they married at the small stone church built on the banks of Wintertown's only river, the yellow stripe on his bicycle had faded to the dull party of the mountain grass in winter. By the time Aunt Sunny died and her bachelor nephew Pat came to live in Wintertown, Yanni's bicycle had no colour left except for a few patches of blue and the small four-coloured flag of the old republic. He'd attached it to the handlebars soon after the war with the English had ended. When he pedaled down Main Street, the flag flew proud and straight, especially at night, when he pedaled as fast as he could to escape the ghost of the abandoned bride, walking the streets of Wintertown looking for her groom. The missing groom had left his bride standing for days outside the same church in which Yanni had married Gladys. She eventually vanished into the river that trickled past the poor end of town. Reappearing years later, dressed in her soggy white gown, with mud and reeds trailing from the hem and from her outstretched arms, she searched for a replacement for her lost groom in any unwary man she found. She'd almost caught Yanni once, springing out from behind the post office and clutching the handlebars of his bicycle as she'd reached up a pale arm to but to brush his cheek. Fork, he'd said, his breath turning whiter than her dress in the frosty air, and his legs now so long that his knees knocked his chin. And he pedaled home as fast as he could, shocking Gladys as he stumbled in the door and had a shot of wit splits straight from the bottle he kept hidden beneath his bed for high days and holidays. After that, he never dawdled on the way home, until the day Bachelor Hat rearranged the display in the window of Aunt Sunny's store. There, in the centre of the pots and pans, the porcelain dolls and the rocking chair, artfully arranged with a wooden doll dressed in full finery, the latest fashions from Paris in France, Gladys said, there amidst all the new goods that left the ladies and children of Wintertown ooing and aahing, was a new bicycle. He fell in love with that bicycle. It gleamed black with a large silver bell in the high handlebars and white trim on its sturdy tyres and Yanni longed for it with a passion he'd not felt since first he saw Gladys at the wedding of her second cousin twice removed. Yanni yearned for that bicycle. At night he dreamed about it, of how he would look arriving at work with his new bicycle between his legs, and of how he would fly down Main Street so fast that no ghost could catch him.